So to write a select query, we first start out with select. Then the next thing we need to tell MySQL is what columns or fields we want to select. Now we can either write these out, which ones we want. We could say we want the ID, comma, label, or we can use what's called the wildcard character, which is the asterisk, and that will say we want to select all of the columns. So let's do that first. So we're going to say select all, and then we need to say from, and then we're going to tell it which table to look in. And we're going to choose the nav table. And there you go. This is the simplest query you can write, pretty much. So this is going to run, and it's going to grab all the records from the nav table, which is really going to be no different than if we were to click on browse right here. We're going to get pretty much the same result. So we'll come over here and click go. And there's our result. We have all the columns and all the data from the nav table. So let's change this up just a little bit. Let's go back to the SQL tab, clear out what's in here. And we're going to do select. And this time we'll choose ID and label. So ID comma label from nav. And we'll run this. And this time, instead of all the data, it just gave us the data for the ID and the label columns of each record. Now let's say we want to select a specific item. Come back up here to the SQL tab, clear this out, say select. This time all from nav. And now we're going to give it a clause, or you might call it a rule. We're going to say where ID equals two. So this is going to look in the nav table and find any record with the ID equal to two. And because the ID is the primary key and always going to be unique, we should only return one record. So we run this and we get and we get just the nav item with the ID two, which just happens to be videos. Now let's run something else. We'll go up to SQL clear this out. Now let's do select all from nav where status equals one. So we're going to choose just the ones that we've decided are active. So the ones that have a status equal to one. And now we're going to order them. And we're going to say order by, and then we need to choose which of the columns to order it by. We're going to say position, and then we're going to choose how we want to order that. And we're going to say ascending, or ASC. So this would then retrieve all the records and order them by position 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is basically how we want to do it in PHP for our example. However, if we were to choose descending or DESC, it would do it in the reverse order. So let's go ahead and run this. There you go. So it's basically put them in the reverse order. 